My name is Julie Siegenthaler, and in March, I joined the staff of the Fire Safe Council as its new programs manager. Here's a quick update for you. The offices of the Fire Safe Council are currently closed to the public, but the phones are still operational and will ring through to our mobile phones. We have several systems in place which allow the staff to remain in communication throughout the day and which allow our chipping programs to continue to run. The County of Nevada has expressed their desire to see these types of essential services continue to operate because fire season will come regardless of whether we all must stay at home or not. We are hiring new crew members and are implementing measures that will be aligned with the county guidelines to reduce the risk of our staff or our customers transmitting COVID-19 during chipping operations. The County of Nevada and the Fire Safe Council have made the difficult decision to postpone the Children's Health and Wildfire Safety Carnival scheduled for May 2nd due to the COVID-19 stay-at-home order. We'll provide an update if the event will be rescheduled for this year or will have to be postponed until May of 2021. We're hoping by August we can safely hold the exciting Fire Safe Council fundraiser, the Red Zone Affair. The community, committee will convene again on May 5th to determine next steps based on the best available information regarding the COVID-19 measures in place at that time. The CAL FIRE WUI drills are still scheduled to take place in May and in June according to CAL FIRE. If that changes, we will pass along the updates as they become available. The Fire Safe Council is evaluating systems with which we can connect with our members on a monthly basis providing up-to-date information about volunteer opportunities, a monthly wildfire preparedness to-do list, updates from the Board of Directors, and a calendar of events. We're excited about having the tools necessary to connect with our members via email in a meaningful and helpful way. And finally, Green Waste is on schedule as also considered an essential activity by the county. We're on track to offer three weeks of free residential green waste drop-off at three locations in the county and are pursuing funding for an additional three weeks. If that funding is secured, we'll collect green waste from residents beginning mid-May and extending through the last weekend of June. Just a reminder, trash, root balls, large logs, invasive species such as scotch broom, blackberry, and poison oak cannot be accepted. We're grateful to the owners for generously donating the use of their sites for this important event. In Grass Valley, the Rise Gold site located at Brunswick and Sutton donated by Rise Gold. In Penn Valley, the future home of the Penn Valley Community Center on Spenceville Road donated by the Penn Valley Community Foundation. And in Alta Sierra, the NID site located at the corners of Francis and Reagan. For more information or to volunteer to work this event safely, please see our website, www.areyoufiresafe.com, click on Programs and then Green Waste. You can also sign up directly through Volunteer Hub. We all feel the frustration that comes from this stay-at-home order. Life has given us some lemons, so let's make some lemonade. The stay-at-home order has given us time to work on our defensible space, to pack our go bags and to find ways to help those around us to prepare for wildfire. We may have to maintain social distance, but we can still function as community. Be safe and stay well, everyone.